another episode of Mel's Genealogy Show. I'm your host, Melanie Reeve, and today is a special episode where we will be talking about Memorial Day, because today is Memorial Day. Memorial Day was originally called Decoration Day, and it started around the time of the Civil War, um, during the Civil War, really. Uh, there were several groups on both the North and the South side that started laying flowers and uh, decorating graves with uh, fallen soldiers with flowers. But it wasn't until after the end of the Civil War that more um, communities began setting aside a day. Not necessarily all at the same time, but they were setting aside a day to decorate the, the graves of fallen soldiers. Um, but it became an official day when General John Logan uh, in the General Order Number 11, made an official proclamation of the day on May 5th, 1868, and the first Memorial Day was observed on May 30th of 1868. And as they do today, the first um, instant, official instance of Memorial Day, they decorated graves with flowers. Um, and then by by 1890, pretty much all of the northern states uh, were, were uh, following Memorial Day, observing Memorial Day. Uh, but the South, the South had their own days, but they weren't. They were refusing to follow the the official day set aside by the North. Still, a little animosity there. But they did have their own days that they had set aside to decorate Confederate soldiers' graves. Um, after World War I, the holiday was changed to, rather than just um, observing the holiday on behalf of Civil War soldiers, it became a holiday to observe um, any American soldiers that had died in any war, any war. And when that change was switched over, then the South started to observe the official um, Memorial Day, although they did maintain the days that they'd set aside for specifically honoring uh, Confederate soldiers. So in Texas, they celebrate on Jan uh, January 19th, um, April 26th is set aside for Alabama, Florida, Georgia, and Mississippi. May 10th is set aside in South Carolina, and June the 3rd is set aside in Louisiana and Tennessee. So while they do celebrate Memorial Day, uh, they have a separate day set aside specifically for Confederate soldiers. The National Act, the National Holiday Act of 1971 made Memorial Day an official federal holiday um, by placing it at the, as the last Monday of May. So that's how every year Memorial Day falls on a three, it becomes a three-day weekend. Um, which for some people is good and some people is kind of takes away from the purpose of the holiday. Because then, it, you know, I guess the idea is by putting, making a three day weekend every year, people think of it as more of a, you know, mini vacation as opposed to a day that we're supposed to be, um, you know, laying flowers on graves and kind of observing in a bit of a, a somber mood, you know. In the year, in December 2000, they passed a resolution that they call the National Moment of Remembrance. And it's basically a resolution that's for Memorial Day that uh, requests that at 3 p.m. local time that Americans, quote, voluntarily and informally observe in their own way a moment of, rem of remembrance and respect, pausing from whatever they are doing for a moment of silence or listening to taps. They have passed that resolution and so that's one step towards making Memorial Day more about its original purpose and less about, I guess, hot dogs and hamburgers on a grill. There have also been several attempts um, beginning in about 1999. They started trying to change Memorial Day from rather than being on the, la on the last Monday of May change it to May 30th, uh, as with the original observance of the holiday. Um, the idea being that if, it, if it, you're not guaranteed a three-day weekend, then you'll 
I guess you're going to look at the holiday as it's meant to be looked at. I don't, I personally don't see a big deal in looking at the holiday and in, in enjoying the three day weekend, but I mean, you can, you can observe Memorial Day in the way it's meant to be observed without having to be sad and have a sad day. I mean, you can observe it with some kind of enjoy, some kind of joy and observe it with your friends and family. It seems to make sense to me. Um, there are actually plenty of different ways you could celebrate Memorial Day. Um, and as genealogists, you have a unique way to be able to so bring that holiday into something that's a little bit closer to home. So while some people may have ancestors, you know, recent ancestors that they know of, like their grandparents, their parents or their grandparents or something like that, that they know had died in war, not everybody does, but most people probably, if they looked far enough back in their lineage, will find somebody that died in service during a war. So, for me, for example, um, I don't have any recent ancestors that have, fortunately, I don't have recent ancestors that have died during service. Plenty of veterans, but none that had died during their service until I go back to the Civil War and my fourth great-grandfather, whose name was Benjamin Clark Reeve, actually died during the, in 1863 during the Civil War. And so for, for me, this year, I chose to remember Memorial Day on a more personal level by sharing his story on Facebook to my friends and my family. And I'm also planning on, um, not by Memorial Day, but planning on making a video that compiles everything that I found about him to kind of share his story in a, a video documentary form that I can share for years to come on Memorial Day. So... That's one way you can do it, and you can also just write the story and share it on Facebook like I did, like I did or um, there are different ways. And it doesn't necessarily have to be your ancestors, but as genealogists, that is a way that you can bring Memorial Day into not just as an American, but actually as a part of your own family. So have you found any ancestors that have died during military service? Um, if, if so, are you specifically honoring them in any kind of way. I'd love to hear about, love to hear any ideas that you have, so um, if you can just put those down in the comments section below, or you can also share it over on our Facebook page at facebook.com slash monkeyinmytree. And that is going to be the end of this episode. Thank you for joining us on this special Memorial Day episode, and I hope you have a wonderful Memorial Day and have had a wonderful Memorial Day weekend. Thank you for joining us.
Mel's Genealogy Show is a Monkey in My Tree production made available for free on YouTube.com. This show provides information for family historians to help them better research and document their ancestors and relatives. Some examples of information covered on this show include reviews of research tools and resources, interviews with other family historians and experts in the field of genealogy, and much, much more. If this is of interest to you, click the subscribe button on our YouTube channel, Monkey in My Tree, to follow each episode of Mel's Genealogy Show and other Monkey in My Tree programs. You can like us on our Facebook page at facebook.com slash monkeyinmytree, or follow us on Twitter at monkeyinmytree. Visit our website at monkeyinmytree.com for additional genealogy resources. And to help us continue to provide these resources for free, please visit our support page at monkeyinmytree.com support.